Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We're still in Beauclair Palace in the uh, Vampire Wars of whatever year this is. And we're still playing on the Death March difficulty, by the way. And, uh, blah, 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 oh. oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Regis. Thank you. That was really appreciated. I was still doing my intro. So, uh, Witcher 3, Death March difficulty, Blood and Wine DLC. Yes, continue on. Uh, we're looking for Cyana in an attempt to get her to Detlov. So this should be the playroom then, I suppose. Not, of course. Regis, rather not have a fist fight with his door. Do you mind? Not at all. Okay, there goes Smokey, Smokey Regis again. Look, where did he go through? Underneath the door space? or? Oh, there we go. Okay, Thanks. slow moving door. Thank you, Regis. Let's go inside. Let's take a look around. Something inside? Nope. Empty. Oh, one could only try, eh? For some booze. Seems to be a note here. No, mm. we can check that out. Better silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Yes, indeed, at least. So, let's head upstairs where Regis is already uh, skulking about. And let's eat something, because we kind of lost a bit of health when that uh, vampire dropped down on us. Okay, music box just stopped. Uh, let's take all that. A rocking horse. Rather worn. I suppose it got a lot of use. Okay. There's something red in that basket over there. I'm searching unless chatting, Garrett, please. Yeah, I'm trying to search, but you're in the way. What's with the music box going off on its own? Uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by lazy chambermaid. Those mirrors do look uh, suspicious, though. Oh, for God's sakes, we just tableware and plush toys. Cute. Is she reliving her childhood? Her missing Wooden childhood, duck. by the way. Somebody broke its wings off. That's fitting. Okay, okay, music box will examine you. Nice tune. Indeed, pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. Oh, is that why it's playing on its own? Okay, let's loot the journal and let's read up a bit. Okay, never mind. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Okay, Siana gave me a drawing. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night. Save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Oh. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly, girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. And she only was fine when she uh, shared a bed with Anna Henrietta, which would uh, be bad if she was banished from the kingdom. Because she would always have those nightmares. It's actually kind of nice that Geralt is reading this for me, so that I don't have to. The girls quarreled today. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Huh. It's also uh, interesting to note that in this uh, notebook, it is uh, Anna Henrietta, as we know her in the game, is actually called Anna Rietta, as she is in the books. Just an interesting side note. So today I visited the land of a thousand fables for the first time. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa. 
You proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. <laughs> the girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. So Expecto Ludum is actually Latin for I, uh, well, I expect pleasure or fun or amusement. So Ludum has a lot of meaning. His Grace the Duke expressed concern for his daughters. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Okay, so I'm starting to feel sorry for Siana, or Siana. They're an elf guardian is a dreadful, and they refuse to study. I tutored the girls in elf guardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Anna Rietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Luda is damned. Or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. So, uh... Yeah, enough of that. So let's mm. go find this illusion. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there and isolated. We must see. I know this Where's version, the, the this game's version of illusions are a bit different than what we're used to, but an illusion shouldn't be real. So uh, if she's cast into an illusion, we should be able to see her at least. But hey, let's check out everything else and loot a bit of thingies. Locked. Hmm. So this place is locked. We haven't found the book yet. So I'm wondering, or I wonder if that music box still has something to do with this, because it's really, really weird. So ballads and hymns. This is the well, painting well, he was looking at. A key tucked behind a picture. Okay, golden key. Probably to the cupboard over there. Let's open it up. Okay, not the dolls, thank you. Unlocked. And there's the book. Huh. Is it? Let's see. Expecto Ludum? It has a unicorn on it. There we go. Why was it locked so hard? Not that anybody would, by accident, expecto. Yeah, no say dollar. that. There goes the medallion. The night of long fangs completed. Actually, I actually was expecting the. Uh... Regis. Oh wow. Regis. Yeah, Regis isn't here. I was expecting the quest with the Elder Vampire to be the interesting one of the two, but this is starting to get really interesting Land itself. A thousand fables. Incredible. Wow, that was a, a big bird. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. Wow, look at this. Uh, I'm not doing this. The camera panned up by itself. Oh, the Helen is going wild. All lands an illusion, but so powerful there's no way to dispel it. 
Okay, follow the yellow brick road. Well, if this isn't a... Uh, what's this? Let's read this. Girls, welcome to the land of a thousand fables. Set out on a journey of wonder. Enjoy yourself, Uncle Atorius. Warning, spells will remain stable until June 1252. What's well, the date now? That should be interesting. So, if this isn't a, a reference to Alice in Wonderland, then I don't know what is. Follow the yellow brick road. It's not really yellow. It's more like it's about to explode. Uh, over here? Oh, what's, what, what, what? I could access something here. Or not. Okay then, let's follow the yellow brick road. Oh shit! No 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 no! Oh for fuck's sake! Yeah, and I keep forgetting these things explode after you do that. Yeah, indeed, something is not right. And if Sayana is in here, that doesn't bode well. Because I don't know how much she will uh, be able to protect herself from arch spores. Uh, so let's go back to that bridge. I completely lost my way here. Uh, so up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if the items I just gathered are actually real or in a... Oh, shit. Poisoned apple. Seriously, a dwarf with a poisoned apple. So that's a Snow White reference. Um, anything else? Because this is this is really cool, actually. With the huge mushrooms and everything. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm gonna have to sprint and jump here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Let's keep going up because I don't want to be surprised by anything else. I'm actually gonna pop a little save here as well. There we go. Let's head over Let the bridge. Him Let him out. He Voices. gobbled up my gingerbread. Now it's my turn to gobble him. <laughs> so that sounded like Hansel and Gretel. Um. Hello, Sienna. Sienna. Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it. This is a reskinned version of one of the crones, isn't it? Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad I took that safe. Just as soon as I catch you. Okay. Oh, the wicked witch. Okay. This this is interesting. She has a a bubble. Sh oh shit. But this one doesn't seem to pop down. Holy shit, shit. Maybe I can shoot her with a crossbow? How the hell do I do this? Maybe art? Yeah, there we go. 
Oh shit, shit, shit! The broom is attacking me as well. Can I fucking set that broom on fire? Oh shit! She got me, she got me with that. Yeah, okay, fuck. Oh great! Shit. Okay, so the broom is back. I would say she would fall under the relict, relict tree. And it seems to be doing more damage than it was before. Oh, my sword is broken again. Yeah, it's doing way more damage than it was doing before. Need to keep Gwen up, because if she can hit me with her pult, she goes into a uh, shield mode again. Think I almost have her. She's bleeding as well. Uh, where's the broom going? There we go. What? What the hell was that? The, the wicked, wicked witch. witch. Oh, you've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How'd that you was a butt shot. It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. Oh, so that was Prince Charming inside of the oven. <coughs> oh, no. It's not. Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you Jack? Come to play? No, I just want your beans. Yeah, so you okay. Can breathe easy. So we're gonna have every fairy tale in the book now. Breathe easy, what's that about? Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean. So he'll tell me where the beans are as fast so as So the magic can. beans. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. Okay, she I'm was torturing the fables. I swear it. Anorietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. But, but just... The boy with the thing for wolves. He should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. Well, she is the charmer, isn't she? Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Well, uh, Beauclair is under attack by vampires. Came to look for my lost childhood. <laughs> Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Deadlauf. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlauf, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. 
Me, because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? Well, apparently it is. Normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Okay then. Let's shake on it. And I'm guessing that love already killed way more people than the guys you asked him to. Uh, so those that love killed, what did they do to you? Because they escorted you to exile, we know that. But did they do anything else? Since you brought it up, the knights that love killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Duak, Lacroix, Peyrek, Peyron. Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Oh, gold. Yeah, um, explains a lot, actually. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. No, we didn't. to hear my side. Everyone does that. No, I actually did think you had a pretty good reason to do that, but, uh, well. This place, tell me a bit about it. This place? Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes, created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. So Artorius Vigo, that actually rings a bell. So is that the brother of Fringilla Vigo then? The uh, sorceress that helped us out at the end of the main game. They exiled you because of the curse of the Black Sun. Curse yes, indeed. The Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you, Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel. That's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Hmm. Yeah, that makes you think, doesn't it? So what's with the beans? So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm. Certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack, I think we all know the, be the tale. I'm a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh, this place has been beautifully designed, though. I probably can... Yeah, okay. Joss Ooh. can usually be found wandering... Gingerbread and cookies. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. Okay, let's quickly check this place south. Maybe there's something in here that I can loot. More than a gingerbread man. Well, that's all very fitting. I'm assuming I can all eat that. Can I enter the house, actually? No, I cannot. 
Uh, there seems to be something here. What's this? Why is it marked yellow if I can't use it? Can't blast it away either. Huh, that's weird. Oh, oh, I can check this out. Bone ashes. Well then, something spectacular. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed, a massacre, which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret, time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, but outside, mere minutes will have passed. Oh, that's interesting. So, we can actually take our time here. So let's loot the po more poisoned apples. Fitting. Wait, what? Why is there a door icon here? There seems to be a door inside of this thing as well, but... Bug? I'm assuming? So let's go find this Joss character. And apparently keep following the uh, yellow brick road. Hello? Oh, hi. Pixies! Pixies? Holy shit! Um, there's a lot of pixies. So these act like... Um, what are they called? God damn it. Those little thingies. Always in groups. I completely missed their names now. Well, one more pixie left, but it's running. Neckers, that was it. Neckers. They're called Neckers. Pixies I've met. They were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. The Fable Sphere. That's a fancy name. So let's go up. Wow. Oh, seriously, that tower. Is that? Oh, unicorns. We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call okay. the big one. Roach. It's called Roach. It's even called Roach. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. <laughs> Rather not. Yeah, having sex with Yennefer on a stuffed unicorn. And this this is a real unicorn. Well, illusory unicorn. So that's um uh for God's sake. What's her name? Yeah. Mm, I'm bad at fairy tales in English. Oh wow, these wolves are tough! There we go! Hello, Joss! So, uh, yeah. Rapunzel's Tower, that was, uh, that was what I was looking for. Rapunzel's Tower. There's more! Another wolf behind you! Ignore him, he always lies. Aha. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! Uh, no. So, red bean, blue bean, yellow bean. Spill be the beans! Right, <laughs> let's get <laughs> to it. Uh... Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Okay, so he always lies, so that's a smart way of going around it. Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! So it's guarded by tree. And then the yellow bean? Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And very high. Has it. 
So Rapunzel. World's farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. So the last one is in Rapunzel's tower up there. Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? Well, he's not real, so uh, we gotta go. All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Oh, shut up. So Rapunzel's tower, Tough and then to talk to that guarded one. by tree. Worsy, though, you need merely remember the tree musketeers? Lies, or more precisely, refers us the truth. Hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables, the meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, piglets and bears, three of each, and Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. So one is then probably guarded by the three pigs. And someone swallowed it. Oh. Incredible. You must Red have Riding Hood. Place. I did it first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Ooh, that was nasty. Well, uh, with that I'm gonna take a little break. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to oh, subscribe look, to my the channel. Nilfgaard. He's come out to show off his new robe. Okay. And uh, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye. Okay,